Yes, yes, believe it or not, it is me. I can prove it. Because I'm still wearing Birkenstocks, baby. And here's something I thought I'd never say. We are in Helsinki, Finland, about to eat Vietnamese food. Now, how did we get here? So I was coming here anyways. I wanted to see Scandinavia. First stop, Helsinki. Uh, Googled Vietnamese restaurant. Oh my gosh, so many places popped up on Google. I was like, wow, there is more to this. So I reached out to Annie Taste on Instagram. She's a local. I said, is a Vietnamese food worth trying here? She said, yes. So she cleared out her schedule and it's gonna take us around today. Try a couple spots. So we're gonna meet up with Annie in just a second and uh, get the day started. Hey Annie, how are you? Max, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we got Annie. Are you, are you, like, did you like, are you born and raised in Helsinki or? No, I live here. I moved here uh, to study and now I live here for 16 years. Okay, where are you from in Vietnam then? What do you mean city? Are you from Saigon? Saigon. Okay, yes. nice. So I represent the South. Here we go. That's where I lived for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this your, your uh, YouTube title. Yeah, a lot of Saigon in the, stuff. All the corners in Saigon. What district are you from? Uh, Gava. Are you from Gava? Yes. Okay, you're near the airport then. Uh, nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. So we got first spot Saigon Cafe. So gotta get some southern flavors. Start okay. Off. Awesome. Yes. So. Usually they have it in the weekend. The special mm. menu, like really specialty, like bu bò la lot or bu mâm or such. But really? in the weekdays, they usually only have it. In you can find things like that all the way out here in Helsinki. That's crazy. Bà la lot or bu mâm. Yes. Yes. Oh wow. Two weeks ago, I think they had it in the weekend special, and I came here. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 they also oh, wow. have some. Oh, up though, oh. Eh? Yeah. You, you know what I'm I don't think I've ever had snails for breakfast, though, even in Vietnam. Uh, okay. <laughs> but here, I would like to suggest the uh, hủ tiếu trộn. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> yes. Or. But, is it like a nam mang, or is it like a. Like hủ tiếu nam mang, or is it like. Yeah, yeah, dry. Okay, dry stuff dry. like that. Uh, and then another dish I also suggest is the. Bánh, bánh canh ghẹ, yes, here. Oh, really? Yes. Actually, ghẹ yeah, out here in uh, Helsinki? Uh, frozen. <laughs> okay, okay, I was curious. <laughs> well, typically, or... I was, like, I was like, man, why are they getting ghẹ yeah, out here in Helsinki? It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's crabs in Helsinki, but my gosh. No, no, no it's the normal crab that we Okay, normal, frozen. but then... Yeah, yeah okay, got gotcha. you. Or just... So, <laughs> no, Finland doesn't have that kind of... This is kind of funny to me. Oh, look how interesting this is. When you get like the lunch menu, they got your chai right here. So you get the spring rolls, got some fruit and got a salad mixture. Uh, I guess it's a little sweet and sour sauce and a lime ready to go. So when you do order a noodle here, you get the chai I guess it's like eat as many as you want. My oh, my business. Uh, your, oh yeah, you have a Vietnamese store here in Helsinki? No, no, you, but I, I retail it for, I wholesale it for um, cafes here in Helsinki. But you also have things like Fuku, the yes, pepper yes. from Fuku. Yes, it's actually, is the demanding from some of the, the customer. It is going to be a limited edition, but this is going to continue us. Oh, product. nice. No. Thank you. Man, pretty good size. This is pretty close. If you go to like a, a famous, there's a famous uh, Hutu Nambang restaurant in Saigon. It's pretty similar to this, but it's like 90K bowl. So that's like four US dollars. Yeah, so a little more expensive here. That's okay. <laughs> Boy, they, the Henfei, my gosh, they loaded up with Henfei a lot. I love it. Okay, let's see whose looks better. Oh, man. Thank you. Oh, yours looks legit. Oh, it looks good. It's got the goop to it and everything. I'm legit impressed. They've actually got the hu tiêu gạo, and you can see it, it's soaked already. I'm guessing a little soy sauce mixture. They got the sassio or that roasted pork. Like I said, lots of henpi. Oh my gosh. Actually, the smell, the aroma when they first bring it to your table just transports me right back to Saigon. But you know, it can't be Vietnamese food without a good broth. So that's where I got to pay my respects and try the broth first. That is legit so close to what you get in Vietnam. That maybe it's just so much uh, fried shallot in that, but it is absolutely delicious. Oh, beautiful little pork rib in there. I mean, visually, I mean, besides the fact I'm in a mall, you know, hearing the Vietnamese, seeing the food, it just transport me right back. It is hitting a little harder though. I enjoy a nice hot soup on a very, very cold, cold day, as opposed to a 40 degree plus Celsius day in Saigon. Help loosen up the noodles a little bit here. 
Because I don't eat it like that. I eat it separately. But you I do it separately? Do. Always? No way. Well, you got to add a little bit just to like wake up the noodles. You got to bring them back alive. Bang. <laughs> now we're ready to go. It was just, we, were, we were definitely mud hanging, but after that, it just rolled in with people. I'm excited. Oh, I've been in the US. I mean, I have not had Vietnamese food in probably, actually that's a lie. I had Vietnamese food two weeks ago. But anyways, I'm in the mood. I always tell people, we have so many delicious types of noodles in Vietnam, but just something about like a hupe gao, cooked dry style like this, that is one of the best mouth textures, best mouth feels ever. It just makes me so happy to take a big bite of hupe noodles. Actually, the thing that sets it apart may just be the meat. I mean, look at that. You can just see how juicy and tender this is gonna be on that roasted pork. I think it's their attention to detail, even things like the baldine right here. I mean, it just, it has the, the exact same snap and the crunch, the pepper, that kick that you get. And a Vietnamese baldine, I mean, it is, I really could close my eyes and feel like I'm eating back in Vietnam. Mm. Absolutely destroyed it. Funny thing is now that I finished, I realized there's one thing that I miss very much i do not think i ever would and as a chat yeah 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 Oh, is this it? It's like, but I thought I was thinking, I was thinking it was gonna be like mini food trucks, but it's just a food truck. Okay. Usually the food truck things in Helsinki is in the midnight uh, when people are going after the bar, you know, uh -huh. in the weekend, but during the daytime, the food truck is not really a thing here. Okay. Elimika ihme, ihme banmai. It's like, what is banh mì? Yeah, what the hell is? Oh, uh, what is a banh mì? Yeah, I like that. They're kind of. It's more a bit like, how do you say? It's not like exactly what's that. What the hell is that? Uh, this is was like somebody came here to study, and instead of getting a nine to five job, he opened up a food truck. Okay, it's just. Okay, it's a group of them. Okay, so we're trying one of their banh mì's out. Did you hear that? He liked Oh yeah, perfect. Thank you, brother. Yeah, you're right. He left my bun my pronunciation. Perfect. That's funny. I like went to order. I was like, can I get the bun my number two? He's like, man, your bun pronunciation's so good. That was so funny. So they've actually got like a big main menu and they got two different sizes of bun my. I actually went with a smaller one. The dude did loaded fries, but the thing I thought was interesting is you go to the best seller. And like I get the grilled pork, but it's so funny to see the lemongrass chicken like a gas hat. Like I've never seen, I don't, and even in Vietnam, I don't think I've ever had it in a bun mi. I need a bun mi nong day. Thank you, brother. Yay. Check it out, what a bun mi in Finland looks like. You got the baguette? Oh, it's actually like a baguette baguette too. Oh, it looks nice though. Look at that. Actually, the color with that turmeric right there, that beautiful yellow tint. If you like a, a southern Vietnamese bun mai where it's like nice and flaky and light, you won't like a bread like this. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's got a, be a lot of beautiful flavor coming from the sauces. The, it's so interesting to eat it with bread like that, but I mean, it's a, a gorgeous baguette. It's light, it's yeasty, it's crunchy and buttery. And these grilled up the pork beautifully. I mean. I love to see what they're doing. Like, you know, came here to study, could have taken the chance just to do the nine to five, but actually following your passion and creating money and spreading the word about Vietnamese food. You'd love to see it. I approve. The more I ate it, the more I liked it. It's not like anything you'll get in Vietnam. My only thing is what they need is like 
if they could just put some like little tiny chairs out here to sit on. Perfect. Sir? Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna try to hit like many different, as many different Vietnamese genres as we can. This is more of like a, I hate saying like fine dining, but it is a more of like an upscale restaurant. Authentic Vietnamese restaurant open every day. All right. And I even have to translate. Yeah, that quite am. Wow, look at this place, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't there for that. So we were ordering and we were talking to the girl and they only had huge salads. So we were like, we have some small. <laughs> so they brought the small one. So I don't know if many people have seen this a lot in Saigon. I only know, I guess, one restaurant that doesn't see uh, Saigon. But what it is is they'll actually heat the bowl up till it's really hot and they pour the broth in it and you can see it's kind of like steaming. Uh, and then you've got your ingredients over here and you can add it in. Now this is a type of pho because it will have the one pho. You know, a lot of it is describing Vietnamese food is based on the noodle. I guess let's see everything back here. So they got the beef meatball. They got the, I do believe, did you say this is the brisket, the nam? Yes. Okay, yeah. and they got thai. So they got the raw beef right here. And you can see their actual pho noodle right here. I'm having a hard time focusing because there's Vietnamese music right above my head. I keep trying to like, I'm almost going to karaoke mode. All right, so boy, uh, noodle. And we got the actual grilled prawns on here as well. You don't have to run away, it's okay. So this is like, what, well, you said you like the boy, uh, yeah. bako, bako. like on the, uh, what street is that? Uh, I don't know the name of the street, but the... Công Yên Lê Dân Tám, ngồi ngồi bệnh đó, ngay Công Yên Lê Dân Tám á. We actually yes. got the grilled prawn yes. here as well, here doing pork bottle. Yes. And it's okay, we haven't eaten, so we can use this side of the chopsticks. So after you've taken a bite, then you gotta oh, use this side. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> the second one is easy. Okay, we had to go round two because uh, apparently I have a big mouth and I talk too much. But here, here's how it's supposed to cook. Oh my gosh! Don't drop it in like that. So you actually put it in. You should just put it in just for a second, kind of like the or anything. You get that thin cut. You pour it right back out. It's ready to go. I want to give it a little dip in the sauce and try it when it's not overcooked. cooked. It's not as like actually strong in the spices as I thought it'd be. Every time I've had pho outside of Vietnam, it's very, very heavy, like a, a, a southern style, right? Man, the playlist here is banging good. I think what I like most is it's a little bit almost milky. It's not too much meat, not too much spice mixture, a little bit light. I feel like I need a little something. I don't know if it's like raw onion or more, more green onion or something. But other than that, the actual broth's nice get after this while it's still got that bubbling hot broth going. Okay, so there's two restaurants here. You gotta watch out. Looks almost like a Thai and then... Yes. So this is Thai Okay. Then we got the Vietnamese where we're going here. Oh my gosh, I finally found a tada, but it has to have alcohol. <laughs> Gin too. I feel like I'm probably destined to try this, but they also get me with the Bia Saigon. Ooh, chili sauce on deck. But y'all, old habits die hard. Didn't have Bia Taga. They didn't have the greatest beer in the world, but it's okay because we got the Bia Saigon. I missed the story in this place. They actually started as a banh mi truck as well. Yes, yes. And now they've grown to this, which is so crazy to me because they started off just doing a banh mi, but then you see the menu and it's like, my gosh, they do curry, they do banh sale, they do banh mi, they do so many dishes now. Um, but I think the thing I've been amazed most here in Helsinki, the Vietnamese food is, where are the Vietnamese people? <laughs> they got a lot of Vietnamese restaurants, a lot of Vietnamese people, but it's, it's Finnish people here eating. So that's kind of cool to see. Food is a good thing. That's that good. Our Vietnamese culture is Being spreading. Accepted, yes, yeah. yes, yes, and then, then people are liking it and taking it more. Yes. I appreciate, especially when you eat the things like Saigon Cafe. Like that's very authentic flavor. Yes, yes. And 
There's maybe one other Vietnamese person. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Finnish people. Yeah, Mane is very underrated. Okay, I like the move right here. I like that much garlic though. I'm happy to see that. Beef looks nice and tender. Never seen a cherry tomato on a Mane before. Got the egg. Ah, oh, the lack of pate is killing me. Kind of a little chili sauce, but I think we got to try it. Just plain first. Ooh. So y'all, for me, it's pretty easy. I always just do a little cheese, a little beef. I'm gonna give me a nice little piece of garlic with that, though. Oh, look, that's what you want, that dripping, juicing beef right there. It's almost like the 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 pho I had earlier. Like you gotta have that while it's like that the hot that sizzle. You gotta, I gotta have that sound that sale. But to me, I probably miss the pate the most. But as far as the beef, it's marinated almost exactly like Vietnam. I think in Vietnam we probably use, especially Saigon, use a little more sugar in that marinade. But that soy sauce, that umami coming from it, the caramelized onions on point. Again, the beef so quality, tender. And then what I really like, and I kind of want to steal if I ever make money, is like these big cloves of garlic right here, ready to go. It's so interesting to me because I found the marinade on the beef so close to a in Vietnam, but I'm just missing pate. Like, it feels naked without pate. Pate is like, I don't know. The plan was two places because I think that you couldn't eat that much, but I'm impressed with your strength. We pushed it to four. Four of it is one, so no, I appreciate maybe it. up to four, right? Yep. No, Annie, I appreciate you showing me around Helsinki. That was just the start. I think there's more restaurants you would recommend. Yes, I'm just, I tapped out. <laughs> yeah, sure. You have four full courses. Yeah, no, but Helsinki surprising. Like the Vietnamese food, very good. I think probably my favorite, the hotel from uh, Chitao. Chitao, yes. I think her flavors are on point. But I'm surprised you can find a lot of cool stuff. Like it's not just, I didn't want to just do like Bumbo or Pho. I want to find unique things or yes. Ban Mai. So it's yes. kind of cool you can get a Ban Mai. Or... Yeah. Cool. I also want to promote the underrated food like hotel mm -hmm. and then ban xeo is something that the Finnish people don't know yet. Right. So see, good. you can see more on any taste. Yes. On IG. Yes. IG only. IG only. Oh, IG only. <laughs> She's busy. No, but we appreciate y'all coming with us and we'll catch you at the next one. Okay. Maybe Dallas. Maybe Arkansas. I don't know. We'll see.